On today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit about revolvers. We're going to be talking about uh, techniques for reloading and also some products that you might want to consider. Stick around. Thanks for joining us today on Shoot of the Series. I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. We'd sure like to thank all of our YouTube subscribers for sticking with us. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the share, hit the like, and also hit that bell for immediate notifications. Also, check us out on Patreon if you want to help support us. Now, for those of you that have been paying attention, you know I really like revolvers. And revolvers definitely have their place, whether it's CCW or if you're out in the backcountry. A revolver like a 357 is going to have enough stopping power if you're dealing with a big cat or if the versatility if you're dealing with say something like a rattlesnake. Now there's different ways that you can carry extra ammunition whether you're around town or on the trail. Um, the most basic of these would just be a pouch where you're able to carry your ammunition loose this is going to be the slowest way to reload, but you're going to be able to carry the most amount of ammo in a small package. One, one thing to consider, uh, a leather pouch like this isn't terribly expensive, and it's definitely an alternative. Now, what we have here is what's known as a speed loader. Speed loaders come from different manufacturers. This one is from a company called Triple K. You can usually get into these for about $10 a pop. Now, for these, they come in different sizes. You'll have to go check out their catalog to find out which exact speed loader is going to be compatible for your gun. In this case, it's a 7-shooter. So this is meant to fit either the 586 or the 686 Smith. Now, one of these gives you the ability to rapidly reload a revolver without having to load them one at a time. So something like this is a, a really good way to go. Basically what you're going to do to load one of these is that you are going to start by opening it up so that it's nice and loose. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add these into the little voids one at a time. And then when you're all said and done, what you're going to do is you're going to give this knob a little quarter turn, which is going to secure everything inside. If I did this right, I can turn it upside down and nothing falls out. So when you load this, you're going to open up your revolver, line up the holes, push it down, give it a turn. They're going to drop free into the cylinder and you're going to be ready to fire. That's one option. Now, the next option we're going to talk about is what's known as speed strips. And speed strips also come in different sizes. You can get these in five, six, seven, or in this case, even one that holds eight. Now, the beauty of the speed strip is it's going to hold flat into your pocket. It also gives you an opportunity, if you need to, to top off the revolver. Whereas with a speed loader, you put in six when you need six. For some reason, if you need to do an administrative reload, you can eject two and load two and keep all of these as backup. These basically go into a little rubberized strip and you load them one at a time and then it holds it in place. It's pretty, pretty stout. It's not going anywhere. And we'll get into a demonstration in a few minutes into how this all works. Now, the last here is known as, uh, is actually a hybrid, where you get the benefits of both a speed strip and a speed loader. And this is from a company called Maxfire. And as you can see, these each one fit into their own little groove to hold it securely, which means they're not really going anywhere and it's offset so that when you put this into the chambers of the gun you literally just rip it off and your rounds are going to drop right into their chamber. This is a very interesting idea. I've had these a couple of weeks. 
I've played with them a little bit, not much. One of the things that I do need to say, whether you're talking about this, the Max Fire, the Speed Strip, or the uh, um, this little doohickey, is they all require practice. Don't expect to just open them up, take them out of the package, and then suddenly be, be competent with them. You're going to have to spend a little bit of time to make sure that you're, you're, you're very comfortable with them before you go out and actually use them. So we're going to go through a live wire demonstration to show you how all of these work, give you a better idea of some of the products that are available to you for when you want to reload your revolver. So stick around. All right, we're back. And like we always do, we're going to show safe and clear with the Smith 686 7 shooter. And we're going to start off talking a little bit about the uh, the speed loader made by Triple K. What I like to do is I like to train to where my fingers are actually on the the cartridges themselves and I find for me they index a lot better when they go in. Now, the reason I say that is if you're just holding it by the knob, you don't have the same sensitivity, and if for some reason you should turn that knob, they're all going to fall out. So this is a way of protecting to make sure that everything stays together as a group when you drop it in. So once you get it dropped in, you're going to push down a little bit, you're going to turn it, and they all fall in just like that. Fairly straightforward, right? All right, now we're going to close it up, put some rounds through it. All right, we're empty, we're safe, we're clear. Now I want to talk a little bit about the speed strip. Now, Keep in mind that there is no perfect solution. There's just better. Now, what you can do with the speed strip is you hold your finger on the top with your other two fingers on the side. And you can actually load these two at a time and then all you're doing is ripping it off the side. Oops. Same again. Load them, line them up. Rip it to the side, and the last one. And you've got an extra as you need a backup. Once again, all right, we're free and clear. You saw how that went. All right, we're going to talk about the last one. Now, the last one, these are the Max Fire, and the Max Fire is a hybrid where you get the benefits of both the speed strip as well as the speed loader, but you're not dealing with anything mechanical. You also notice that these are offset. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start by getting it lined up to where it just drops in. All right, there you go. And then it becomes just a matter, there it goes, it's just a matter of literally ripping them off. You noticed how I got it on the front and I levered it back and that way everything falls in nice and easy. So far so good. We're going to close this back up. All right. We're clear. We're safe. Going to return to holster. Finger off the trigger. Lock it all up nice and secure. Now, you'll notice that I fumbled around a little bit. The reason is, is because all of these various products require a certain amount of practice in order to be competent with. So the speed in speed loader 
or speed strip or the Max Fire come from practice. Don't expect to just open up the package and suddenly everything's good. Practice and training are everything. Anyway, I just wanted to show you some different products and I'm glad we had a chance to have this little chat. More importantly, get my revolver out on the range. So once again, um, I'd like to thank all of our watchers over at YouTube. Check us out on Patreon. And on behalf of Shooter the Series, I'm Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Y'all take care.